Hey what's up guys, Helix here and this is the Cintiq 13 HD from Wacom. This is a graphic tablet with a 1080p LCD display mostly directed to digital artists and graphic designers. In this review I'm not gonna talk about crazy specs or where the product stands compared to other similar tablets. If you're interested in that kind of stuff you can easily check the Wacom official website or check hundreds of other video reviews on YouTube way better than this one. In this review I will talk about those little things, those weird little things that I would have liked to know before purchasing a thousand dollar tablet. Don't get me wrong, I love this tablet, it's a gorgeous product, slim, portable and solid, that it's boosting my creativity and speeding up my workflow, and it's a huge step up considering where I was coming from, but as I said, for a thousand dollar product, I wasn't expecting all these strange things. Before purchasing an expensive product like this one, I like to do my research, check reviews and draw my own conclusions, but the following list is something that no one talked about, and in my opinion it's something really important for future buyers. So let's get started. B Software Other than installing it in order to let your computer to recognize properly the tablet and the pen, for the rest it's pretty useless, especially on a Mac where you have its own control options inside your settings panel, the Wacom software is totally useless with a not so great interface and with the purpose of just giving you shortcuts to access the standard settings panel of your operating system. I actually never used it after the first installation. Maybe from a company strongly focused on digital artists and designers, I was expecting something more useful and good looking, but it's kinda not really important. The cable. Overall is a good solid solution, you have only one cable that splits in three separated ends, a charger, an HDMI and a USB. The only weird and somehow dangerous thing is the location of the connection port. Your dominant hand, the one that you used to draw, will inevitably rest on the cable sometimes when you're close to the corner. I never had connectivity problems, but it doesn't look really sturdy and I'm worried that with too much pressure, uh, some connectors could break. I guess this is something that in the future will be solved, maybe with a USB Type-C connector. Just be careful to not rest your hand with too much weight on that side. The stand. This is something that actually pisses me off a little. As I already said, it's a thousand dollar product, it's expensive, and for that amount of money I expect quality from every point of view. The stand. It's a cheap piece of plastic, it looks like they borrow it from another manufacturer, it doesn't look like a Wacom product. The rubber is not great, it's not sturdy and wiggles a little bit while drawing. It gives you three different angles that are not adjustable and not that great and the mounting system... Oh god, the mounting system scares the hell out of me every time. The first time I heard that noise I thought I broke something, and the way the mounting is made it causes an unwanted detach sometimes when you incline the tablet too much to use the higher angle. It's really really bad. The buttons. They're simply not enough and the software doesn't give you much freedom. I mean, there are a lot of buttons, you have in total 4 regular buttons plus 5 with the ringer at the center, so 9 buttons in total, but if you're a digital painter you know better than me how many times you change settings, brushes, angles, zoom and so on while you're working, and those 9 buttons are not enough. You can set them up to use the most common shortcuts, but you will end up anyway reaching out for your keyboard more often than you expected. Sometimes during long hours of painting I end up not using the built-in buttons at all and having my hand constantly on the keyboard. This could be easily solved with a software update, maybe by giving the ability to switch between slots and having multiple buttons combinations. That would be really neat. At the end, in my opinion, this product gets a 8 out of 10 rate. It's a beautiful and solid product that, if you never use something like that, will open a whole new world of productivity and speed.
Just a quick advice though, if you decide to buy the Cintiq, be sure to purchase one of these gloves as well. The screen gets a little bit warm and you really don't want to sweat on it, especially on summer. Plus, you clean the screen from dust while you use it. It's pretty handy. It's soft and comfortable and you will get used to it pretty quickly. Well, it's pretty much it for the Wacom Cintiq 13HD. Thank you for watching and talk soon.